Hey, what's up? In this problem, we have some parametric equations, and we have to find the points at which we have horizontal and vertical tangent lines. Solution. The easiest way um, to remember how to do problems like this is to think about the formula for dy dx. So dy dx is dy dt over dx dt. And if you just think about it, and you think about what this means, um, we should be able to do it. So let's focus first on the horizontal tangent lines. So horizontal tangent lines. So horizontal lines have a slope of zero. Okay, so if we want horizontal tangent lines, we want dy dx to be zero. That means we want dy dt to be zero. So we need dy dt to be equal to zero. And we want the bottom to not be zero. So we want dx dt to not be zero. Otherwise, we would get zero over zero, right? We don't want that. We want the whole thing to be zero, so only the top can be zero. So when you're looking for horizontal tangent lines, you can just think about this formula and think, okay, horizontal lines have a slope of zero. That means the top has to be zero, so dy dt has to be zero. So dy dt in this problem, it's pretty easy to compute it. Let's do it. So dy dt, using the power rule, we would get uh, 3t squared minus 3, and we set that equal to 0, okay? And then we can pull out a 3, and we get t squared minus 1 equal to 0. Divide by 3, or factor, we get 3, that's factor, t minus 1, t plus 1 equals 0. So we have two possible candidates, right? 1 and negative 1. These are possible values of the parameter where we have horizontal tangent lines. We don't know uh, if we can use these yet we still have to check this other condition. So let's check it. So dx dt, dx dt is 2t uh, minus 1, right? Yeah, just take the derivative, so 2t minus 1. So no problem there. So in this case, we get, uh, looks like t, set this equal to 0, you get t equals uh, 1 half, right? You add 1 and divide by 2. So no problems, right? This is not the same as these t's. So we are going to have horizontal tangent lines at both of these numbers, at 1 and at negative 1. To actually find uh, the points, uh, what we do is we plug these back into x and y. Let's finish this then. Let's do it. So when t equals 1, we get x equals 1 minus 1 plus 2. So we would get 0 plus 2, so we just get 2. Right? Plugging it in here for, for t, plugging t in there. And then uh, when t is 1, the y value would be 1 cubed minus 3 times 1, so just negative 2. So our first horizontal tangent line, the first one we found, is 2, negative 2. That's the point where we have a horizontal tangent line. So we have a horizontal tangent line at that point. The other one is going to occur when t equals negative 1. So again, just taking the values of t and plugging them in here, so we would get x equals negative 1 squared is 1, skipping some steps here. Then 1 minus negative 1 is plus, right? It's plus. So it's plus and then plus 2, so we get 4. And then plugging in negative 1 into this one, it would be negative 1 cubed, so negative 1. And we're plugging in negative 1, there's a minus here, so minus and minus is plus. So this is 2. So the other point where we have a horizontal tangent line would be 4 comma 2. Okay, so the key step is to remember how to start it, right? So you need this condition. All right, let's do the vertical tangent line, see if we have any of those. So vert tan lines, I'll put that over here. So vert tan lines. So to find vertical tangent lines, again, we just think about the formula. You know, what is the behavior of a vertical tangent line? Well. Um, it has an undefined slope. Usually you have something divided by 0, like 5 over 0 or something like that. So we would want dx dt to be equal to 0, right? But at the same time, we don't want 0 over 0. That usually results in something like a hole. Um, so we don't want that. We want an asymptote, right? So we want dy dt equal to, not equal to 0, right? Not equal to 0. All right, so we want dx dt to be equal to 0 and dy dt not to be equal to 0. So dx dt... Let's work it out. I think we already did. Let's see. dx dt is equal to uh, 2t minus 1. Setting that equal to 0, we get t equals 1 half, right? You add 1, divide by 2. And then dy dt, uh, the only time dy dt equals 0, we already did it, right? It's right here, right? 
uh, are, are the values of 1 and negative 1. So it's not going to be equal to 0 at 1 half. So this, this is satisfied. So all we have to do now is take this t value and plug it into x and y to get our point. So when t is 1 half, let's go ahead and do it now, you would get 1 half squared, so 1 fourth minus 1 half plus 2. Uh-oh, fractions. <laughs> this is equal to, um, so let's see, so 1 fourth, thinking of 1 half as 2 fourths, just being really careful, uh, multiply, right, multiply by 2 over 2 plus 2. So that's equal to 1 fourth minus 2 fourths is 1 fourth plus 2. That's 1 fourth plus 8 fourths. That's 9 fourths. So x is equal to 9 fourths. And then y would be equal to 1 half cubed minus 3 times 1 half. So that's 1 eighth minus 3 halves. Multiply this by 4 over 4. That would be 1 eighth minus uh, 12 eighths. That's negative 11 eighths. I can barely fit it on the screen. So that would give us 9 fourths, negative 11 eighths. Kind of rushed through that. Uh, but um, that's it. I hope that made sense. Just trying to keep the video a little bit short. The main idea is that you know how to start it, right? You know how to start each piece. So horizontal tangent lines, you want the slope to be zero. Vertical tangent lines, you want the slope on the bottom to be zero. So that's it.